Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Stephonics Channel. Today we're building the Cathedral Gundam from the Gundam Build Fighters Amazing, which is a manga. And you know, it the box art looks cool. It's gold, but I prefer to have a color one. Like I prefer those color one, colorful uh, background from the uh, like you know just normal kits. And as we open it, we will see uh, gold parts. And this is blind gold. If you want to be uh, really shiny, you have to paint it yourself. And I have to paint because I just can't deny the gold of the any uh, mobile suit. And we got the beam saber parts right here. And we got a large part of the. I think this is from the Denial Gundam. And there's more parts, and I think there's a lot of hand selection here because I see open and shut hands. And this is possibly the torso and the wings, and more gold parts, and more gold parts, and the stand as well. And this is basically the instruction book. Wow, finally, a new instruction book that actually can be readable, but you know, I can't read in Japanese. Sorry, and it, it introduced the suit and the pilot, and it even tell you the Denial Gundam is the reborn Gunpla of the uh, Cathedral Gundam, and this is the instruction book, what it looks like inside, that's basically what it looks like inside. Okay, before I, uh, before I close out the video of the unboxing part, I would like to say, uh, this video is specially made for a user that requests me to review the kit and I will put your name on screen right now. Alright. Alright. Uh, and also, thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, not many subscribers, but thank you for watching me. I have a video almost reached. Uh, I like a lot of views. Thank you for guys watching me and uh, I appreciate it. I really do. And I would like to uh, use this opportunity to thank you, you all for watching my videos because uh, I was expecting nobody's going to watch it but uh, all of a sudden it, uh, one of the videos just blow up. <laughs> but you know, thank you very much. Thank you for all the positive feedback that you guys gave me and uh, I will be sure I will be doing my best. And okay, enough talking, I'm just going to get started.
Welcome back to the review of the Cathedral Gundam from the uh, Viewfires and this is what it looks like at the finishing product uh, If you didn't spray paint like me to put on a metallic gold color it should look like bland gold and it's disgusting <laughs> for me I can't stand on not spraying gold <clears throat> I can't stand on not spraying gold parts and this is what it looks like at the front this is what it looks like at the back not really, not really anything, uh, uh, anything that's gone wrong or something. But you know, if you look at this and be and be like, why this looks like a uh, denial Gundam? Well, this is the prototype of the denial Gundam, or I should say, denial Gundam is based on the uh, Cathedral Gundam. <coughs> Sorry, and we got uh, a lot of type of hands that you can choose. You, uh, we got a fist version of it. We got a holding weapon one. We got the open hand one, like this. Or we got the completely open hand, like this. And also we got a the beam saber for the for the uh, Gundam. So it's actually really simple. You just put it in. And there you go. Smallest, the smallest beam, the smallest beam saber of the world. And also, talk about movements. <clears throat> you can move freely as well. So you see, the head can be moved really easily, like this. Go all the way back, came back, still fine. And got this uh, hand joints. They can move. And we got the legs unit. Oh, the legs can be moved like this. And the side of the armor can be moved as well. The back of the wings can be moved. And also the waist, the waist can be moved as well. So, well, let's start introducing. <coughs> Sorry, and as you can see right here is a normal Gundam, and you if you take and then uh, the gun can be stored at the back, and the shield can be handheld or stored at the back of the waist. But I try it and I can't snap it in for some reason. Maybe it's my own problem. And this suit can be uh, separated to become a old booster which is called the uh, cathedral booster okay i need a picture first okay so first you have to snap off the shield and now you put it back like this and then now you move it and then you just okay so if I figure it out now so the normally uh, cathedral booster will be like this you flip it and then you flip the side of the wings as well you flip it at the side of the wings like this now that's the normal version done and now you extend the uh, gun and there should be a little part here and what you're gonna do is just snap it on like okay well I need to find it okay you snap it on here and lastly you put the shield on like this so now that's the cathedral booster like this and yeah, you know, that just basically how it goes. And I gotta say though, it's okay, so let me remove the hands first. So I gotta say though, that just basically how it goes. And nextly, if you buy this kit, <clears throat> the one thing that you want to try is the damn Archer thing, right? So. You know, by doing that, it's really simple.
So you pull the back out like this. You pull the back out. You there's two parts of the the uh, the tip of the wings. You snap it out the tip of the wings like this. And then remember the beam saber, right? Remember those beam saber. You now you need a longer blade, which is this one, which I put it here. You need a longer blade right now. So it should become like this. Okay, now that's just how it goes. Okay, just give me a second. And now I'm gonna take this part. Do, do it like this. You put the side on the here. Go on here. Put it like this, and then you snap it off, and then you snap it on the hand parts. Just give me a second, <coughs> and there you go. So all the hands is on it now, and for me, you have to. And let me slap off the other hand right now, the punching hand. <coughs> and let's put it on. Try to let's try to put it on. Just give me a second. So it should be putting on. Oh gosh. Wait, I put it the wrong side, that's why I didn't put it on, okay? Just give me a second. So sorry for a bit wrong there, but that's just how it looks like once you actually successfully put on the bow. Okay, well the shield fell off, so don't blame me. And that's just basically how it looks like. And I don't think there's anything to introduce anymore. And for me, okay, now come back to the personal uh, opinion. This suit looks awesome. It, I totally love it. Although I spent two hundred dollars, uh, uh, Hong Kong dollars on it, XKD, two hundred XKD, and I still love it. I love it. I really love it, and I just love the gold because I spray it. Well, I'm I'm glad that I spray it because I don't like I I wouldn't feel like it looks good in the bland gold position, but now it got some actual gold on it, and it makes me feel really happy. And this is the end of the review. Hopefully, you guys like it. And I will see you next time. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Bye bye. Have a nice day.